I shall now invite the distinguished Secretary General, His Excellency Ban Ki moon, to take the floor. Thank you, Mr. President, distinguished heads of state and government, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen. This is a historic moment, a moment offering a fresh start toward a new future. President Obama, a warm welcome, and we salute your leadership. This is the first Security Council summit on nuclear non-proliferation and disarmament. I have long advocated a stronger role for the Security Council. This was a major element of the five-point nuclear disarmament plan I announced October last year. The need for action is clear. The thousands of nuclear weapons remain on hair trigger list a lot. More states have sought and acquired them. Nuclear tests have continued. And every day, we live with the threat that weapons of mass de destruction could be stolen, sold, or slip away. As long as such weapons exist, so does the risk of proliferation and catastrophic use. So too uh, does the threat of nuclear terrorism. Now, some might dismiss the goal of nuclear disarmament as utopian. The cynics say, stop dreaming, be, be realistic. They are wrong. Nuclear disarmament is the only sane path uh, to a safer world. Nothing would work better in eliminating the risk of use than eliminating the weapons themselves. The Russian Federation and the United States are leading by example. I urge the Security Council to make the most of this moment. They should, be, they should not be a one-time event. We must sustain the momentum. First, we need to new ways to increase the transparency and openness regarding the weapons programs of the recognized nuclear weapon states. I urge the Council to start consultation on this matter. The Secretariat is ready to serve as a repository. Second, we must make the best use of the UN's disarmament machinery. I hope, for example, that the Conference on Disarmament can advance the program of work it adopted this year, including negotiations on a fissile material cutoff treaty. For its part, the Council could promote universal membership in key treaties, work to improve compliance, the assess the need, and assess the need for new agreements including a nuclear weapons convention. It could also strongly reaffirm the need early entry into force of the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty. Third, disarmament and non-proliferation must proceed together. I encourage nuclear weapon states here to consider additional measures to enhance the security as a way of leading to total elimination. These could include, for example, ways to achieve the effective verification of the disarmament process. At the same time, we must ensure that the IAEA has the resources and support it needs to implement its growing safeguard responsibilities. For too long, a divided international community has lacked the will, vision, and confidence to move ahead. Together, we have dreamed about a nuclear-free world. Now we must act to achieve it. That starts now. I congratulate the Council for convening this summit. I welcome the adoption of today's resolution. And I again salute the leadership of President Obama. I pledge my continued support and look forward to future meetings on these vital issues here in this Council and beyond, including the crucial 2010 NPT Review Conference. This summit truly adds a new page to the history of this Council. Let us now write a new chapter for peace, security, and safety for all. Thank you very much, Mr. President.